Hello everybody, it is JD here and welcome to today's No Money Spent episode. It is the start of season number seven. We are going to go through everything you need to know about the season that is going to take us through pretty much until the end of this game's life cycle. This season ends June the 30th and in July 2K pretty much say it's wraps. Yesterday was my birthday and you might be wondering why, why hat though? I had to wear the hat just so I didn't scare you off straight away. Or maybe it wouldn't scale off, maybe you like, I don't know. But yesterday, we did a 12-hour stream over on twitch.tv slash jane underscore crossover. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for coming through. If you did come through, we played so many games. It was so much fun. And the end goal was me losing a bit of hair off the top of my head. Uh, the end goal was me going a little bit bald. So, I hope you're prepared because underneath the little hat, by the way, Celtics from the garden, there isn't much hair. You might have seen the picture over on Twitter. You might have been in the stream yesterday, and if you were, then thank you. Uh, but yeah, I've got uh, I've got nothing on my head, and it looks really strange. It feels really strange. But I thought I'd uh, not scare you guys straight away. I'd have the hat on just to uh, shield you for a bit. But with that being said, you can stare at my head all you want. Uh, we will go ahead and talk about season number seven. Let's jump in. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe for the daily videos and check out the twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover for the daily streams. We have just started MLB. If you're an MLB head, let me know down below. Just started MLB. We're obviously still doing FIFA. We're going to be streaming FIFA tomorrow. Play a little bit of Fortnite yesterday as well. We're having a lot of fun on a lot of different games. So let's jump into 2K and see if this is going to be one of those games that we're going to be playing this season. So we have got the level rewards. Uh, you've got Opal Stephen Adams, an Opal Austin Carr, an Opal Jeremy Grant, Opal Elvin Hayes, Opal Marquez Johnson, and Dark Matter Victor Oladipo. So the road to level 40, is it better than it has been? Absolutely. Are these exciting names? Not in the slightest. Who cares about Marquez Johnson and Elvin Hayes? Nobody cares about those guys. But you know, it is better. So it is an improvement. So the road to level 40 is better. And then at level 40, Invincible Zion He's cool. He's cool. Uh, you know, undersized at power forward. We went over that, but it's, it's a nice level 40. So that is an improvement. It is better than it was last season. you got all this stuff just for one pack for win the weekend. You've got 30 challenges for one Hoff badge, which is wild. 17 challenges for one diamond shoe pack, which is crazy. Uh, this last season was for a Hoff badge. It is now a basketball, so that's been nerfed. So we don't like that. Uh, and other than that, agendas are, of course, exactly the same. Lifetime agendas, though, this has now changed. And we've got some big changes down here. So, previously, 2,550 cards was the maximum. You can now get 2,600, which is Reggie Theus. But they're just so sad. Look at that card. It just screams like I don't want to be here. That is the deadest card art in any video game literally ever. The reward card art is, is shambolic. The fact that it's got Dark Matters on it. You just don't even want to use them. So Reggie Theus is there. 700 tokens. Casey Jones, the first ever Dark Matter coach. He's a balance coach plus 10. Now, obviously, if you're at that point in the collects level, you do not need a Dark Matter coach, do you? Because you're going to have invincibles that have 99 everywhere. There's a Dark Matter coach. It's something different. It's cool. 85,000 MT. Uh, Dark Matter Kim McHale, again, just looks so sad. Um, he's 6'11 with like a 7 foot 11 wingspan. Though his wingspan is nuts. 2850, 750 tokens. Uh, 2900 is 20 half badges. 90,000 MT for 2950. Then Invincible Dominique. So he was on the poster for season number 7. Um, but the caveat is it's going to cost you like 10 million MT to actually get him. So nobody's going to get him. Uh, Invincible Dominique there. It says Dark Matter, but it is obviously the Dark Matter Invincible Dominique with the clones. So may, may well get him at some point. Probably not. They've got 800 tokens at 3,050. You've then got every Hall of Fame badge at 3,100 when the group reward for completing everything is 64 Hoff badges as well. So you're going to get every Hoff badge twice. 3,150 is then 95,000 MT and 3,200 we don't know. 3,250 we don't know. And then it stops. This used to be 3,400. It used to go down to 3,400. 2K have now realised, it's, it's taken them eight months to realise, they finally realised they were asking too much, or they weren't going to release enough players. 
So they have taken off 150 cards and it is now 3,250. It's so embarrassing that it took them eight months to realize that they weren't going to be able to like drop that many players in the game. But I mean, at least they have finally realized. So some big updates to collect level. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. It is incredibly expensive. And again, I would put a price tag of over 10 mil for that Dominique Wilkins. So if you're going for him, more power to you and good luck. We then have got all the game modes. So clutch time offline, you've got a lot of nothing. An Opal Heroic Boogie, I think that is. It's not the hero one, a heroic one. Uh, clutch shooter, 15,000 MT for 90 wins and a Dark Mad John Havlicek. Not point guard, shooting guard small forward, 6 for 5. So just a shooting guard, not worth playing in my opinion. Triple that offline, uh, Sean Elliott in the vault. Uh, so of course just random, so you can't really play for him. And then on the ladder, two Hoff badges and a Dark Mad Allen Houston of which you can just get a very similar, better shooting guard on the auction house right now. And it's not going to take you like 15, 20 hours or however long it takes. So to that offline is not for me. Challenges, you know, we've got the, uh, the challenge for the pack. And that is it. The pickup challenge has changed. Again, it's taken eight months. We've finally got a change to the pickup challenge, which is good. But the change is bad. Uh, that it's actually worse. So you get one pick at the Ascension board. People have played through this. You get one pick at the Ascension board. And if you've played this game at all this year, you will know the Ascension board is absolutely awful. I have had people today play through this challenge, get a pick on the Ascension board, and get 25,000... No, not 25,000. 25 MT. 25. Now, previously, you used to get a badge pack, which was guaranteed, like, three, 400 MT at minimum. That is like a guaranteed 25 MT. So they've changed it, which is good. They've remembered it exists, which is good. But they've made it worse, which is not so good. Uh, spotlights over here. The uh, playoff ones continue to be sad, continue to be tragic. And if you'll notice, they have changed the, uh, the pack picture. I think it was in the last episode. If you go back and watch it, which I think you will hear me say, I don't know why Giannis and LeBron are on those covers because you can't get those cards in the packs because nobody ever had. And then two days later, the pack art has changed. And now it doesn't have Giannis on it. It doesn't have LeBron on it. It's just got a generic silhouette on it. So, yeah, if you're watching this, you could have just added them into the packs instead of just changing the card art, but it is what it is. And if you want any of the crossover players, I believe that is a pack with all eight of the, yeah it is, you get all eight of the celebrity cards if you want them. New signature challenges there, obviously it's just one challenge per six weeks. Co-op has got Mitch Richmond, Draft has also got Mitch Richmond, but I mean shooting guards are ten a penny in this game. Unlimited, we have got the two Hoff badges, Dumbbell Artist Gilmer, who is being seen as one of the best rewards today, so just like last season with Sean Livingston in here, Seems like Unlimited is, is the uh, place to go, but it is still going to take you about 15 hours to get uh, that one card. You then go past that, you get five off badges at 10k, an Opal, an option pack, which isn't great, 10 off badges there, so you get all 15 if you complete Unlimited. Uh, you get an Opal Bill Sharman at 18,000 points, which is like 45, 50 hours worth of your time and then obviously at the end 60 hours 23,000 points you get the 20 box so yeah i won't be doing unlimited this season we have got clutch time online 50 wins for the untradeable uh kuzma whatever set he was from uh 90 wins for 30,000 mt and 100 wins for dark matter sarunas marcia Lon alonis um not for me and then rick smith is there he is a giant he is actually a respectable giant He's not got the Sean Bradley treatment, the Simbalar treatment, the Boban treatment. He's actually a respectable giant. He will be able to hang it with Yao, but he is RNG. So you can't even play for him if you want to. No way to guarantee yourself that player. We then got Limited, which is just for a mystery player. So, you know, last season people played five weeks to find out it was Bob Pettit. They weren't exactly thrilled about that. The card was good, but there were so many other shooting guards, uh, small forwards, that were just out there already. You didn't have to wait six weeks for one. They have updated it a little bit. You've got three half badges now, but... Yeah, not enough to get me playing. And obviously, draft is just Mitch Richmond. And draft is just the same that draft is. We've then got another good change, which is the price of packs. Oh, yeah, I've got no MT. 
Price of packs has changed. Uh, it has now come down to the Tuesday pack price, 10,500 MT. Wow, where did the Tuesday packs go? That's a new season, isn't it? Um, yeah, 10,500 MT. Good. Odds have changed. We've gone from 3% up to 5%, but of course the reason for that is the addition of the all-time NBA sets, which are just... They're just there to bump up the odds and frustrate people because these cards are utterly awful. I'm not I'm not exaggerating when I say this is a 450-man set. I'm not exaggerating that because it is 450-man set. Not a single one of these cards you want to use, genuinely. 56 lateral quickness on a Dark Matter Kareem with six half badges. Not a single one of these cards is useful, is usable. Absolutely pointless. All that this is here to do is skew the odds in these packs. So if we now look at Dark Matters, you've got the On Fuego set, which has got five Dark Matters in it on its own. You know, most of your cards you don't want to pull. Joe Johnson's dirt cheap, Sabonis dirt cheap, Pau Gasol is dirt cheap, so I believe it's James Harden. Isaac's got a little bit of value. You've got Invincible Magic, then you've got Invincible Giannis, then you've got... Are the other cards not... The other cards are in here. I mean, that's very, very misleading. You can pull other Dark Matters. Yeah, that, that's that's um, that's pretty poor, uh, not going to lie. But you can get other Dark Matters in there, of course. You've got the two Lovering Jimses. You've got one for the Cavs and one for the uh, Miami Heat. You've then got... Who else got a Dark Matter? MJ, obviously. And I think it was Kareem as well. So four Dark Matters in those. But then, of course, you've got the Playoff Dark Matters as well. So... Yeah, definitely a little bit, uh, just, just just know, if you look at this and you think there's only these guys and you see somebody else walk out, that's why, that's why. Right, token market, now there was some funky business happening here early on. Now I didn't get a screenshot of it, I don't think, so I can't show you guys, but we had some limited time, yeah, I didn't take a picture of it, limited time cards in here. So there was a Derek Rose that was in there, it was a James Worthy, and it was a... Grant Hill. Now, they were all 250 tokens. They were all untradeable. So it's not like you were turning tokens into MT. They were they were untradeable cards. And they were limited to 250. 250. Yeah, that's all. That is not many people at all. Um, but you could have got yourself a Grant Hill, who obviously locks in for uh, the Kareem. Yes, yes. So because I've got a Grant Hill who locks in for Kareem, you could have got yourself the James Worthy, who locks in for the Terry DeShingo. And speaking of James Worthy, I actually sniped my own. We got one for 85k. When we were looking at these cards, um, when we when they got put in the token market, I looked to see if there was James Worthy and there was one, 85k. So hopefully that's a snipe. We'll give it a day or two to relax. But hopefully that is a snipe. Also in the token market, we have got the level one shack, if you want it. What does it say? Yeah, that's because uh, you need it to get the uh, holographic ball. We then got the season five rewards, um, of which you've got your, you know, Alex English, your Lou Hudson, Nate Thurman. You might be thinking, well, does this mean I can get Bantam and what's his face? Bantam and Billy Knight? Yes, it does. You can. But it's going to cost you a thousand tokens. It is going to cost you one thousand. Well, it's going to cost you two thousand tokens. These Opals, 250 MT, uh, 250 tokens. These ones quadruple the price. So poor. What harm would it be if people could get these cards, which came out like three months ago, for 250 tokens? You had to make it 1,000, didn't you? So really, really poor, um, but not really a surprise, to be fair. So the token market had some new stuff in it. This stuff is, is, is you know, it's to be expected. They've dropped the old rewards in here all year long. But they've just got to ruin it by putting an insane premium. You could complete all of Unlimited. You don't get a thousand tokens for completing Unlimited. You get 200 there, 75, 275, 375, 425, 550, 6, 800. You don't, you don't even get a thousand tokens for completing 60 hours worth of Unlimited. And they want you to spend a thousand to get an Opal from three months ago. I just don't get it. As for our packs today, you'll notice I do have no MT, and that is legit. Uh, we spent 900k on the packs. We pulled three Dark Matters, a Power Gasol, who is worthless. He's not worth anything, he's worthless. And we did manage to pack a Jonathan Isaac. And at the time, 
he wasn't a buyer and he still isn't. So fingers crossed he sells for a little bit. And I also managed to get a 100k for Joe Johnson because he was one of the first ones up. So lucky me on that. But yeah, in general, obviously, packs not worth it. We've lost a lot of MT. We've then got the exchange, which, you guessed it, has been nerfed massively. 20 pink diamonds for a Hoff badge. I think that was the same as last season. But this definitely weren't the same. Last season, this was three. It is now eight. Eight Galaxy Opals for one Hoff badge. And this, this... Last season, one Dark Matter for two Hoff Badges. This season, three Dark Matters for one Hoff Badge. Yeah, pretty awful. So, exchange absolutely mudded. Uh, and then as for the all-time set, they don't lock in for anything. They're literally pointless. Uh, just there for the collector level, which is just incredibly expensive and so out of touch for so many people. So this is just a waste of time. The Season 7 set locks in for some tokens. So if you want Mike Bantam, all you got to do is lock in this set. And this set, and you get yourself a 1,000 tokens. Easy money, right? Right? Oh, maybe not so much. And then, of course, you got your two big dogs for today. Giannis at 2 million MT. And Magic Johnson also at 2 million MT. Absolutely unattainable for everybody. So, new season is here, season 7, and how are we feeling about it? You've got to let me know down below how you're feeling about it. I feel this is just deja vu. This is just another Friday pack drop with a little with a couple of new players here and there that aren't game-changing or exciting in any really weight, shape, or form. For me, personally, none of these names are exciting. I don't look at Mitch Richmond card or a Sean Elliott or Alan Houston and think, oh, man, I can't wait to go play with those guys. Not particularly. One of the best cards is locked behind RNG, which sucks. Uh, don't like that. And yeah, at this point, where the game is at, with the players that are already available on the auction house, I mean, realistically, are any of the cards better than T-Mac? Nope. So you could have had this T-Mac from so long ago and have a better shooting guard than... Wait, what game modes are we in? Than Hondo, than Sean Elliott, than Alan Houston, than Mitch Richmond, than Marty Ulianis... You could have had a better shooting guard than all those guys. So straight away, you don't even need to play those game modes because you've got a better, you get a better shooting guard. As for the centre, you know, Yao's been out there for a little while. If you had KP from season five, you might still have a better, better centre than those guys. So, yeah, I think the power curve was just way too intense this year. Um, I mean, even this Steve Smith from last season, like, I've got that Steve Smith. Are these guys much better than Steve Smith or are they on the same level because they're all kind of like skins of each other? And they're pretty much on the same level. There's a few changes today. Again, the pack price is coming down is good. The level 40, you know, it's not for me, but the, the road to it is better. You get more players now, which is good for the people who need those players. Obviously, don't, but I can appreciate something being good for some people when it's not, you know, specifically for me. That's fine. The game ain't made for me. I am, I've got enough common sense to realise what is just objectively good. That's objectively good. This is objectively bad. Um, it is a change, which is good, but it is a change for the worse. Classic. The exchange has been nerfed massively, so that is a change for the worse, massively. Pack odds have gone up, but they've added in extra layers of fodder, and they're not advertising those layers of fodder, so that's got to be a change for the worst. And then this is just so unnecessary. Absolutely ridiculous. 1,000 tokens for a three-month-old Galaxy Opal. Um, just, just no need. No need whatsoever. And then the collector level, yeah, very, very expensive. So I don't really know what we're going to do here. We don't really have much money. To complete this, we need a lot of money. Uh, there is no way to play the game to get a lot of money. And there is no incentive to actually play for any of these reward cards. So let me know down below what you're doing in Season 7. How are you feeling about it? How are you finding it? Or if you want to comment it down about my head, if that's more interesting, then ball out. It probably is more interesting than Season 7. Um, but yeah, we're going to have around 300k, I would imagine, with all this, uh, all this trash that can sell. I think we did pull a couple of playoff cards today. We've got like an Opal Al Horford. We could, uh, he's not worth anything. Did I get anybody else who's in it? I've got a D-Lo who goes to an Opal, doesn't he? Only worth 12k though. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what we do. I really, really do not know. Uh, Zion's cool. I would like to get a Zion, but 
You, know, you can't get him right now, I don't think, so I'm not going to rush to get him. And then, yeah, everything else is kind of just... Hmm. Let me know down below, what are you thinking? Is there something I'm missing? Am I on the money? Am I in between? Let me know down below any and all thoughts. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the start of Season 7 and New Year, new haircut, I guess. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. And peace.